Good morning, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop and this is the second uh, the second one in this series of um, uh, I suppose you could call it uh, the case of uh, my balls won't drop. Um, the job that came in yesterday uh, an urgent uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be ready for a 10 o'clock turnaround t today um, out uh, to go out to a rig was to um, uh, was was to bore out these bore out these subs uh, to allow a ball to drop down and um, the the ball originally was 30 and they want 35.5 which will allow an inch and an eighth um, ball to drop but the inch and a half ball will not be able to drop so we've now got a case of um, uh, now that I've finished these, we now have a case of my balls will drop. Um, now, in order to do this, this um, this piece uh, this piece is uh, 20, 22 centimetres long, 220 millimetres, it's around about the uh, 9 inches long. Um, the As I spoke on previous, uh, previous emails, uh, previous uh, movies I should say um, we need to look out for the slenderness ratio of the tool uh, the diameter compared to how far you can go protrude out before the um, the boring bar starts singing and uh, dancing around and and so forth so there's a couple of ways of going about with this particular job I could uh, it, it wasn't a problem for me uh, to be able to bore from one side and flip it over and bore from the other side. Um, now the method I used, um, this is a, a 25 millimeter um, boring bar and slenderness ratio factor is is around the 6 to 7 to 1 depending on the materials and in this case here this is 25 millimeter and is protruding out 125 mil so it's a 5 to 1 ratio which was right on the borderline of uh, starting to sing and dance and the chips I produced the, the chipping that I produced from it were these um, these curly ones and they're a nice torn uh, fawny colour uh, and that's ideal because that's showing that we're almost to the blue with a perfect um, perfect chipping however uh, because because of this colour, what we what we do know is that we can we can bore away, produce these um, this colour, and we won't introduce much heat into the um, uh, into the into the job, uh, into the parent metal, and this is also a good sign for me of of, with, of how much wear I'm getting on the tip. As soon as these start to go towards the bluish, and the noise level goes up, I know it's time to. Uh, swap the tip over uh, to, a, to a, a new sharper end. So that's my telltale and uh, as I say the slenderness ratio is quite important in this and uh, we now have success. We've, um, we'll have another satisfied customer.